Hydrilla, Hydrilla verticillata. Hydrilla is not native to Florida. Hydrilla is a submersed exotic plant which was introduced to this country only 40 years ago. Hydrilla causes significant environmental and economic problems in Florida and elsewhere. Its long stems often grow to the surface to form large, dense infestations which crowd out and replace native aquatic plants. Hydrilla may be found in all types of water bodies throughout the state. This plant grows either rooted or as pieces drifting in the water. Its stems are slender, branched, and up to 25 feet long. Hydrilla's small leaves are strap-like and pointed. They grow in whorls of four to eight around the stem. The easiest way to recognize hydrilla is to look at the leaf margins and leaf undersides. The leaf margins are distinctly sawtoothed. Turn the leaf over to see the midrib. The midrib is the large main vein in the middle of the leaf. Hydrilla often has one or more sharp teeth along the length of the leaf midrib. These tiny teeth make hydrilla feel rough when pulled through the hand. In Florida, hydrilla produces female flowers. These very tiny white flowers are only about one-eighth of an inch across. They float on the water surface attached to the plant by long stalks. Male hydrilla has not been introduced to Florida. Therefore, its male flowers are not observed here. Hydrilla also produces turions and tubers from which new plants can sprout. Turions are quarter-inch greenish bud-like structures that grow at the leaf axils. Tubers are potato-like and about one half inch long. They grow in the mud attached to the ends of underground stems. Hydrilla can be confused with another exotic aquatic plant in Florida, Agaria. Please see segment nine about Agaria, the common waterweed, to learn the differences between these similar plants. Remember, exotic hydrilla has long, slender stems. The leaves grow in whorls about the stem. Leaves have obvious sawtooth margins, and on the underside of the leaf, one or more teeth may be on the midrib. Hydrilla produces tubers and turions.